Hey guys. So today we're uh, scrapping that big transformer that I showed in the last video. Uh, I showed like six different items. Told you guys to choose general consensus, big transformer. It'll be heavy, it's gonna be a lot of work. Probably not gonna be fun, but we're gonna do it anyways. So this is the victim. Um, I haven't opened it up, but I guess we should open it up and just see if it's even copper, because if it's not copper, is there any point in scrapping it? I don't know, but probably should, maybe, but we'll see. Um, it's a little suspect because two of the screws off the front cover are missing. So I wonder if someone's already looked at it and said, nay, nay. Let's take a look. So I just noticed it's 275 pounds. So at 275 pounds, we should be looking at anywhere from 40 to 55 pounds of copper. That's what the math works out to. They say 15 to 20%. So if this thing is actually copper, let's test out that theory and see if that actually works. <coughs> well, there you go, three nice big they're making the first coil and I'm, not, I'm sure they're all the same looks like some heavy chunky copper So they normally just lard out, but this one is the exact same width as a cabinet. I'm thinking that I might have to cut that cabinet apart. And there she is out of the box. So, got it up on the step so it's a little bit easier to work on. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these two um, angle irons off because I don't wanna look like I've encountered an angry man with a chainsaw by the time I'm done taking this thing apart. So all I'm gonna do is cut this ready rod on both sides. And that should drop down. Now I'm going to cut these leads off. Same thing with these ones. 
but the lead's coming off for copper and we'll clean those up appropriately. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the copper this way and then this way. So the rest should slide out the back. That's the plan, but you know that never works out. Make sure to do the safety squint when you're using a grinder. So there's a nice double layer. Somehow we're gonna have to get that fiberglass off. So, you know, the idea is to get this out. All you do is try it. So now I'm just going to continue cutting here, cutting there, pushing it out the back. I'm going to do that for all three. Um, no sense showing you all that, but basically you get the idea. So I'll be back with more stuff when stuff happens. Well, that took about... 15 to 20 minutes to get the one coil off and quite honestly as um, we do more the easier it gets and once I cut the next coil off so one more coil to do and uh, that one took about 15 20 minutes again and here is a preview of the copper so that's going to be interesting so that one went really quick and uh yeah that was like 10 minutes and she's all stripped down so all there's left is uh See how much this uh, might pay. And maybe what it weighed. But we don't say that because some people get upset with that term. So, um, and then, oh, there's a strand over there that went flying. But that's the copper we got out of it. Pretty cool, eh? Right now it's all number three and it's a paper-like substance on it. 
but it's not an easy well I don't know if it's going to be easy or not to get the paper off but I would really love some suggestions um, so bleep bloop in the comments how you would get that paper off um, there's really no fiberglass it's just paper and resin so I don't know do I put that in acetone or I don't know maybe you guys got an idea just leave bloop that in the comments and uh, there's one that tickled my fancy I will uh, include in the next video and maybe I'll do an experiment like like take two or three strands and just do different experiments so yeah bleep bloop that in the comments and we'll do some experimentation so here we go just going to tear out this this uh, tote so that tote's 2.85 pounds The net weight, 55.55 pounds of number three. Last time I went to cash in, that was $3.40 a pound. Gives us a total of 188.87. So, and then we still have the price of the steel, which I don't know. So 55 pounds, say, say there's 200 pounds of steel left out of that transformer. So that's not a lot, maybe 30, 40 bucks. Um, I paid 50 for that transformer. So that's not bad. And it only took me two hours to do. Uh, so now... Say if I decided to, so now, say if we upgrade that to number two, that would be $263. Or if we brought it to number one, $277. So make sure you bleep bloop in the comments how you would deal with this paper wrapped, most of it's paper wrapped with some resin. A um, couple pieces have fiberglass. I'm thinking acetone, but I want to know your opinions. And it really matters to me. And um, if you haven't, like, share, subscribe. Um, we've got some really good prizes coming up for giveaways. So, like, tell your friends. It helps me out a lot. Um, I have certain milestones in mind. Um, like, I've got some pretty big dreams here. And if I reach my, my goals, there's going to be some happy people. Um, the faster it happens, the better the prize. <laughs> So here's our load of appliances for today. It's not bad. There's a washer, dishwasher, freezer, uh, five fridges, and three stoves. This backyard's only four minutes away. So let's see how much that cashes in at. Time for what it weighed, never mind. Went in at 7,640 pounds, came out 6,100, net weight of 1,540 pounds. Um, shred is nine and a half cents a pound right now, $190 a ton. So that came out to 145.68. GST 732, that's $153 even. Well, that's some nice junk.